How's it going everybody, this is Jack here, and today for you I'm going to bring you my top tweaks, episode 1. So there's going to be no set sort of number to this, there may be sort of 10 one week, 5 the next, and if it's a very, I've ever found a lot, it could be up to 20 or anything like that. It's sort of just uh, 10, 10 or a, a selection of different things I found from Cydia. It may sometimes be themes as well, but it's generally going to be tweaks, as I tend to stick with a couple of themes. As you m may have seen in my last video, if you haven't, I'll have a link to that on the screen and in the description. Uh, but definitely do check that out. Um, I cover my top, my top three benchmark themes, so my three themes that I use on a regular basis and I really like. But anyway, let's head on with this video. This is the top Cydia tweaks or Cydia picks, episode one. So first view, I have Cobalia. I believe that's how you pronounce it. And what this does is it actually removes, in my opinion, sort of the useless sort of option up the top here where you can have um, your contacts, your recently used contacts, and replace them with toggles, similar to what you'd have in Control Center. So maybe if you have that removed in Control Center or, like, you don't want to have multiple ones in Control Center, which other tweaks allow you to do, you can have a, a different selection up here. I haven't really configured this all this much as I tend to just use this and don't bother with Control Center. So I just le left it how it is. But if we just head into the settings here, so you have the enable option, all the nice feature I do like, and then you have the ones which are actually the, the toggles you have uh, on. You actually have some other options as well, such as the respring one. You can choose the option that it does, so respring, restart, power off, say if you have a dodgy uh, power button or anything like that. And if you hold the action, you can have another option as well. Um, so you can actually have two options within that. Uh, and you've got a couple of that, sort of like the flashlight, you can have low power, strobe, and same with the hold action. So very nice, a lot of different options, and then you've got a whole whole load of different um switches here which is really really nice and nice features uh, a lot of different switches all of these tweak names will be down in the descriptions along with the prices just speed things up a bit so you can also refer to that and if you should need any other repos however I believe they should all be stock repos so coming up next we have hide me 8 and this is a relatively new city tweak of insidia or relatively new to me at least and there was a hide me 7 I believe I don't think there was any lower than that I may be wrong however and basically this just allows you to hide loads of different UI elements which uh, you don't like within iOS 8 so, for example, you've got the whole load of different options here, uh, and you can just hide things within Control Center. For example, if you're using the Cobalia tweak to have um, your toggles at the top there, you can actually remove sort of the toggles from the Control Center, for example. A whole load of different options you can choose, and just really remove things that you don't want. So, um, for example, you could get rid of the settings one, just respring there. And now just open up Control Center after you've resprung. You can see you now have no longer have the quick settings option, which would work, per work perfectly if you're using a tweak such as the Cobalia tweak, which I mentioned earlier. So in the I Hope Me 8 settings, which I've covered briefly already, you can just have like a whole load of different options. You can configure loads of different places, really make your device your own one instead of having it um, just something that everyone else has. You also have sort of um, some third-party apps. If you have any of them installed, for example, I have Instagram installed there. You can sort of, there's different options within them. So if you have the supported ones, obviously there's going to be different options for each one. Uh, definitely a nice Cydia tweak. I believe it costs $2 within Cydia. Something I definitely recommend uh, and definitely go check it out. Next up, we have Predix, and what this basically does is it shows you how much battery percentage you have left. So if we just head back to the home screen here, as it's easier to show, and just give my device a shake. You see, I now have a menu come up telling me exactly how much battery percentage I've got, along with a sort of icon showing me, as well as how long it's going to take to my device powers down in minutes. Um, well, in hours, minutes, and seconds. So very, very useful. Say you uh, need to preserve your battery life for a long amount of time or something, you can sort of turn things off and see how much longer you've got and how much time you've got before you need to plug in your device to charge it. You can have a couple of different options for this. Um, you can enable it. You can also have the option of removing the show battery percentage. Uh, you can change the background color, really make it how you want it. So if we just say uh, change this to, I don't know, change it to orange and change the icons to see if there's a black on here anyway. There we go, black. Head back. Give it a good shake. And you can see now we've got the uh, orange background with black text. Definitely a nicer sort of look, but it's up to you. Depend maybe depends on what theme you have on your device. Definitely a tweak I uh, recommend checking out, especially for someone who struggles to keep your battery life up to... Um, or tr struggles to keep your device on due to battery life during the day. Next up here we have Slide to Kill 8 Pro and this is a very nice silly tweak. There's a couple of other tweaks out there which do a similar thing but basically this has so many more options and this is the reason I've included it as opposed to some of them. And what this allows you to do is remove all of your multitasking apps at once. So I'll show you that you've got this ghost option down here. If you click on that you actually have some other options. You've got this one. If you just click on this here then it brings down your notification center. You also have here, which brings up your control center. And if you click the X button, then it deletes all of your apps. Or doesn't delete them, sorry, removes them out of your multitasking. We'll just head back there. I don't want to do that just yet, as I've got this couple of other options I want to show you. We head into the settings of Slide to Kill Pro 8. 
And as you can see here, you have a whole load of different options. So you have the kill to play option, uh, kill now playing, sorry. So if you're playing music, uh, by default, a lot of other tweaks, if you just use the option to kill all your tweaks, it will also kill the music app, which actually stops music playing. I'm sure a lot of you already realize that. But if you turn that off like I have it, when you do the option to kill all of your apps, it leaves the music one open, whether that be Spotify, whatever app that is still playing, such as the music, Spotify, YouTube, anything like that. If you leave that off, then it will still keep that open so you can continue listening to your music and it won't kill it. You also have the options of the icon tap. So that's the little ghost down the bottom. You can also remove the ghost down the bottom. And the option that I like the most is if you just swipe down anywhere and all of these just removes all of your apps when you're multitasking. Really, really simple. That's really the reason that I use the tweak. But it's a very nice tweak with lots of different options. And last but by no means least, we have subtle lock. And this is a very, very nice silly tweak for you UI um, people out there that really like to have a simple, clean device. If I just show you what it does before we go through the settings here, as you can see, it removes sort of the bar at the top where you normally have a clock and then the slide to unlock and really just puts it right to the top so you can have see your wallpaper a lot better so you have your clock at the top there and a smaller sort of writing along with your date there and then nothing really else uh, to clutter up the screen so within the settings for subtle lock you just have the clock settings so you can choose the styles so you have subtle default dual clock and none so if we just head to the dual clock one lock my device again and now you see you have two clocks so maybe you have two different time zones that you want to monitor such as i don't know america and london you can have the two clocks up there to see what the time Times are at each individual time. With the dual clock option, you can also configure your time zones. So you've got a whole lot of different options there, uh, which is to choose from. So I'm sure that you'll find your country or that you need to put in there, uh, and just really keep an eye on the different times. You also have some different preferences for the clocks. You can really make it how you want. The font style, whole load, whole load of different options are here. The font color and loads of different stuff. So really make it how you want. You also have the slider settings, so at the moment I've just got the hide slider option there. You can have that enabled if you want, I just think it sort of just adds to the whole subtleness of the tweak. And you also have some miscellaneous stuff, so you can remove the NC grabber, the CC grabber, the camera grabber, hide everything else. The fade notifications is a really nice uh, addition to this, so it just sort of fades them out at the edges instead of the uh, whole notification going right to the edge of your screen and being quite bold. It sort of fades it out and gives it a nice sort of look. But anyway, these have been my top Cydia picks, sort of tweaks and themes. Episode 1, if you're excited to see some more of these, then definitely stay tuned to the channel. Subscribe if you're new here. I'm going to try and pump one of these out maybe once every two weeks, maybe more, maybe less. It depends how many tweaks are released, any decent ones I find. But anyway, definitely do check out my channel frequently. And subscribe, I said, if you're new here. Uh, follow me on Twitter, at Jack Steedman, and Facebook. All links will be down in the description. And thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.